Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Today's second video, um, this video is going to be exclusively about the Celtic women's side, the Celtic girls' side, and their uh, preview of their game against uh, Rangers women in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup tomorrow, uh, which will be at Hampden Park. And to the best of my knowledge, there are still tickets available for the game if you want to go along and support uh, Celtic. And it was said that the big Celtic support at last year's cup final, when we beat Rangers 2 0, was said that the big Celtic support was a large factor in cheering the girls on to a famous victory. Now, for those who are new to the channel and enjoy coverage of the women's side, please do click that subscribe button. Um, and for those who enjoy the video, also please do click the like button. That just allows more people to see the videos regarding Celtic's women's side. As currently there's little coverage of the Celtic women's side other than through the official Celtic FC YouTube channel. Um, also, as usual, do feel free to pop your comments regarding the women's side, the girls, into the comment section for a nice debate amongst Celtic uh, girls, Celtic FC women's um, supporters. So, um, as I said, Celtic taking on Rangers tomorrow in the Scottish Cup semi at Hampden. 12.15 kickoff. The game will be live on BBC, BBC One Scotland, also available through the sports section of BBC iPlayer for those who can't get BBC One Scotland. And um, Alina Sadiq, who was hoping for a big Celtic support, cheer the team on, much like they had in their 5 nothing win against Hearts last Sunday, which was at Celtic Park. Now, Celtic are going into this game with a much better current form than Rangers. Celtic are unbeaten in the last nine, while Rangers have lost two of their last nine games, and Rangers have had a wee bit of a struggle to beat both Party Thistle and Hibs, and of course lost to Hearts in the midweek game, uh, which is what put Celtic's women's side two points ahead in the league with a very massive goal difference um, advantage over Rangers. And also should be said that if Celtic's women's side do go on to win the title um, and Celtic men's side, who are in a similar um, position of being top with an advantage of three points and five goals of goal difference, if both the men's side and the women's side go on to win the, the league, it will be the first time that a club has had a men's champion and a women's champion in the same season. And so something for all us Celtic supporters to very much support as both the two sides go for league and cup double over the next month or so. Now, last time we played Rangers, we beat them 2-1, um, a game in which Celtic were pretty much dominant for the first 80 minutes or so. Rangers did get back into the game late on, uh, but Celtic did actually manage to see out the victory quite happily and could easily have scored an extra goal or two had the luck been with them. Game before that was a close 1 1 draw, and I think Elena Sudiku has made a big difference to this side. Um, they're much more uh, flexible in their approach to games, tactically much more aware, with extra pace, extra finishing skills, and extra power and strength in midfield. And uh, I think she's made a large difference and improvement in a lot of the players at Celtic currently. Now, going into the game, Celtic also will have pretty much a full squad. The only uh, player who's missing will be Paolo Partido. She's uh, suffered a foot injury against Glasgow City a couple of weeks ago, and that injury, unfortunately, now has been confirmed as keeping her out for the rest of the season. Paolo Partido is a 19-year-old Spanish player who's been on loan to us from Real Madrid's women's side. Um, she's been a big contributor playing out wide on the right, a lot of pace, a lot of attack, uh, contributing goals and assists, and a lot of tackling back. Um, and she has been quite a key player for Celtic this season. Um, uncertain whether her loan will be extended to another season to allow her to come back to Celtic, or whether there's any hope of buying her from Real Madrid. But either way, I think she's been an excellent player for Celtic this season. And I'll be sorry to see her go if she does have to go back to Real Madrid for good. Um, she does have a, 
able deputy in Celia Barclay, the young French player, who uh, also is very good at getting forward, probably a wee bit better as a defender, but not quite so creative in the final third as Paula has been for Celtic. So, um, Elena Sadiku in her interviews, uh, alongside the Rangers manager in promotion for tomorrow's Cup semi-final. Uh, Hamden was talking about the fact that um, they used the extra space of Celtic Park and the fact that it was a grass pitch um, to their advantage last Sunday in their 5 nothing win against Hearts. And I expect that they'll probably use the same formation and tactics in tomorrow's game against Rangers at Hamden, as again that's a grass pitch and um, significantly larger than the average size pitch that women's football is usually played on in Scotland. So I think Celtic will go into the game again with a 3 5 2, um, with three in central midfield and two out wide and two up front rather than the usual 3 4 3. So my predicted lineup is Kelsey Doherty in goal. Back three, um, Chloe Craig, Caitlin Hayes, and Captain Kelly Clark. Uh, wide right will be Celia Barclay. Wide left will be Lucy Ashworth Clifford. And in the middle, I'm um, predicting Shane Mengu, Natalie Ross, and Colette Cavanaugh. All three have significantly improved in their power, strength, and tackling. And I think they can take on Rangers quite comfortably in midfield tomorrow for power and strength and tackling but also have the advantage over the fact they're better at passing and quicker and also able to run from midfield to support the attack better than the Rangers midfielders. And there is the option to start to Kit Lefersky wide in the right or wide in the left to exploit her pace against uh, the rather stiff, slow, rigid um, square Rangers back four. They've got four uh, big powerful defenders uh, but not enough for pace and defence and Celtic have exploited the space behind those players uh, in the last couple of matches very successfully however I think she'll start with um, Barkley on the right and Lucy Ashworth Clifford in the middle and up front Tash Flint um, alongside Murphy Agnew, Murphy Agnew getting the start over Amy Gallagher and um, Kit Lefersky, Amy Gallagher just coming back from injury and I think Kit Lefersky will be kept uh, on the bench to throw on for the last half hour against the tiring slow Rangers defence. Murphy Agnew of course also has been man player of the match in the last two games for Celtic and scored a hat-trick against Hearts on Sunday and so I think she is the obvious choice to partner Tash Flint up front. And um, I am going for a 2 nothing win for Celtic tomorrow. I think a very strong back three, um, augmented by a tight, strong midfield three, um, will keep things under control and allowing the pace of our wide players and pace of Murphy, Murphy Agnew and finishing skills of Tash Flint to give us the victory. We, of course, also have uh, coming off the bench, Kit Lefarski and Amy Gallagher. Also the white player, uh, uh, Shane Men Glue. Uh, also for midfield players such as Maria McEnany, Jenny Smith and Lisa Robertson. And um, backing up in defence, uh, the experienced uh, Sydney Cummings, who's got better and better over the last couple of months under Elena Sidiku. Uh, my experience of having watched the Celtic women's side both uh, in the first part of the season under Fran Alonso and the second part under Alina Sadiku. I think this, the team in the second half of the season, once Sadiku got settled into um, being head coach at Celtic and once the players got used to her change of style and formation, I think Celtic's improved quite considerably. They are the strongest side in Scotland. And also uh, we have an awful lot of very talented players to come off the bench. Uh, in case of injury, loss of form, or a poor performance. And so I'm confident that Celtic will win tomorrow and get into the final, which would then give them a chance of three Women's Scottish Cup final wins in a row. And then going on to 
winning the double, hopefully. Uh, and they've got an important game on the 1st of May against Glasgow City at the Excelsior home game, followed by a game against Rangers at Cumbernauld, uh, Rangers home venue on Bank Holiday Monday that follows that. And then we'll have games against Partick, Hearts, and finally home game against Hibs at Celtic Park on um, um, for the last game of the season when hopefully Celtic will have already been crowned as champions. So first things first, tomorrow's Cup semi-final. Um, and very hopeful of a comfortable, confident 2 nothing win. So I will do a post-match review video on Sunday of the uh, Cup semi-final tomorrow. Um, and so until then, um, good luck Celtic girls tomorrow on, tomorrow on Saturday against Rangers. Uh, goodbye and hail, hail.